Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing Zoologist Beaver. Um, I'm going to be honest and say this one uh, wasn't for me. And you know, I can't like them all. And Victor knows, I'm very fair. I'm very fair with these reviews. And I've definitely been an advocate um, for the lesser known zoologist. Um, and I give them all a fair try. And I give them all a fair wear. Um, but I'll go ahead and read it for you. I'll, I'll talk about what I like because there are some aspects I do like. And there's some aspects that I, I think are lacking a little bit. Um, I guess there was a reformulation, so I don't know what happened behind the scenes. Perhaps there was, you know, an ingredient issue and things had to be swapped out. Um, I'm not sure. I'll go ahead and start with the top notes, work my way down, and then I'll talk about what I see, what I don't see, things like that. You know how it goes. Top notes, fresh outdoor air, linden blossom, wood shavings, wild vegetation, heart notes, damp air, dry wood, light musk, water, base notes, heavy musk, Dark Woods, Vanilla, Amber, Castorium, Leather. Um, on paper, that sounds really good and really interesting. There's a lot of innovative sounding notes in there. Um, and I guess this was one of the earlier uh, perfumes, so the very specific names for the ingredients and the notes aren't in there. It's more kind of just broad words and phrases like damp air, dry wood, wild, wild vegetation. We're not exactly learning what it is. It's kind of just the idea of it, things blended together, the nuance of it. Um, and on paper, it sounds really good. It sounds like, you know, this would be awesome, kind of a deep woods, but aquatic, like a stream. And, you know, kind of some muskiness because animals are living there. Um, on my arm, um, it, it doesn't quite unfold like that. It doesn't deliver like that. Um, what I do get is something uh, very soapy, very soapy. Um, I get something aquatic, I get something leathery, and I get something kind of ozonic. Um, what I do like is, um, here I'll just show you the juice before I put it back in there. It's a clear juice, it's not one of the more colored or the dyed juices. Um, it's a clear juice and that's fine. This is kind of, it, it's kind of representative of what this is and it's kind of a soapy, clean, a soapy, clean, dirty fragrance in a way. Um, so I like the ozonic. I like how it conveys, it's kind of like a sunny day. Like you just know it's daytime um, by smelling this fragrance. You know it's the daytime. You know the sun is shining on this pool or pond or river or creek. Um, I also know that we're in the woods. I, I don't feel that we're in the deep woods. I feel that we're in perhaps a clearing because I'm, I'm getting these woods, but it's not... Um, the growth, it's kind of just bark. And I guess the wood shavings, uh, yeah, there it is, the wood shavings note. That That's kind of more representative of what it is. I'm not really getting deep tree, I'm not getting resins, I'm not getting roots. I'm just kind of getting the idea of uh, woods, but it's not deep, it's surface level, um, if you know what I mean. Um, the aquatic notes, um, you get them, they're not strong. It's nothing like dragonfly, obviously nothing like squid. Um, it's in there, and I think, you know, what was maybe challenging for Victor um, and the perfumer to do, uh, Chris Bartlett, was um, bring in these different um, aspects together, the leather, the aquatic, the ozonic, the woods, and, and bring them together and make it work, and I understand that is kind of a challenge to do. Um, it, it is a challenge, and um, to me, it didn't quite turn out how I wanted it. Um, it seems like a lot of linens, that fresh linen, very soapy, but it smells like a powdered soap. This is a very clean fragrance. And this is probably for some people. Some people would really enjoy this. It's just not for me. It's not uh, what I wanted to see um, in Beaver. But however, it's, as far as zoologist goes, it's very inoffensive zoologist. But as far as zoologist goes, it's not the most interesting, not even close. Um, you know, uh, I, I've actually, but you know, noses and tastes change. I've come around to Hyrax, uh, whereas before I, I couldn't stand it. Now I actually appreciate it. And I'm like, oh, you know, Hyrax is actually pretty all right. Um, this, I, you know, I, I feel it's kind of in a way a gentlemanly Koros um, because it has that soapy, it kind of has a little bit of floral, the linden blossom. Um, so I kind of get that it's not overwhelming though, um, but it's kind of this like clean, but dirty at the same time because you have heavy must, you've got the castor and the leather, so it creates this dirtiness, so it's this contrast of clean and dirty. Um, that, you know, in a, in a lot of fragrances a, is a formula for success, and I'm not calling this not a success, I'm just calling it um, not, not, you know, not quite what I've come to expect from zoologists. Um, the leather is kind of, uh, 
flat. It, it, it doesn't have a whole lot of texture to me. It's not very rough and it's also not very sharp. It's just kind of a flat leather leather. Um, and you know, I, I understand it was perhaps challenging in the castoriums there. Obviously it's beaver, right? That's where, that's where the castorium comes from. Um, so, you know, I, I, I get that, and that's kind of the strong must there. And there's also other zoologist must. This is zoologist, and the zoologist DNA commands that everything has musk, and that's totally fine. Um, I don't know. I, I just, you know, I, I guess this was maybe one of um, the safer fragrances. They wanted to go safer with this, um, and it accomplished that mission. I guess I've just been spoiled by some of the very complex and just astoundingly innovative zoologist fragrances. Um, and this didn't um, quite hold up to me, but this is definitely probably for somebody. And, you know, I, I give Victor credit for uh, taking the task of an aquatic leather, something uh, I, I, this is the only aquatic leather I know. Um, so, you know, as always, I, I appreciate the innovation by Victor, you know, reaching out there, trying something new. Um, I think, you know, maybe um, this was a creation. Uh, I, I, I don't want to say that shouldn't have happened because it shouldn't. I'm glad he did it. You know, I'm glad there's a, such a variety in, the, in this line, but it's just, I wish, um, I wish there was more wood and I, I, I wish it was more wood and aquatic and less about the musk and the soapiness. That's what I wish. Um, I, I, I think the four different aspects, the four prongs, I think he went after the two that I wish the, the musk and soapiness, he went for those two more than the woody aquatic and I wish it was flipped, I wish it was inversed. Um, I, you know, I, I, guess, I guess I'm just spoiled. I mean, I don't know. And I guess there's a lot of woody fragrances out there. I just, I, ah, it, I feel it could have been so much more comforting and long cabiny if it went in the other direction. But this is the second reformulation, maybe the first formulation was that direction and feedback just told them to go the other way. Um, and I don't know, in the future, maybe Victor will have the opportunity to go after another kind of woody aquatic fragrance um, and maybe change the formula for this. Um, um, that's what I hope. It's not for me. Um, it's not for me. And if, you know, I had to rank zoologists where it stands among the others, this is probably um, in, in, the lower, in the lower preference, we'll say that. Um, because I mean, it's got, it, it has stiff competition. There's some brilliant things at the top. Absolutely brilliant. Um, but th this one just wasn't for me. Anyways, until next time, guys, thank you.